all about the Donald Trump Mar-a-Lago invasion. We're going to start with Nora O'Donnell. Nora O'Donnell is somebody who is in the media. And she said that yesterday, after Donald Trump posted on True Social that they had stolen his passports, she came out hot on Twitter and she said, that's not true at all. She wrote this. She says, new. According to a DOJ official, the FBI is not in possession of the former President Trump's passports. Trump had accused the FBI of stealing his three passports during a raid of his Mar-a-Lago home. She doesn't say raid. She says search. I said raid. Now, she's a blue check mark, and I think she's over at CBS or something like that. It really doesn't matter. They're all uh, fungible, really. Something interesting that I did see that uh, showed up today on Twitter. Look at this. Readers added context they thought you might want to know, right? This was kind of a fact check. A representative from another network. So this is like that. This is one of those boxes, right? That sort of says you're a liar. This is a you're a liar box, except they didn't call her a liar. It says readers added context that uh, thought people might want to know. A representative from another network tweeted the correct information, demonstrating that passports were taken and then subsequently returned. Okay. Okay. Well, that's interesting because uh, I didn't see that originally. And if you notice down here at the bottom, this got almost uh, it's over 3,000 re retweets, 10,000 retweets, 3,000 quote retweets, and 40,000 likes. So Nora O'Donnell from CBS comes out and says, Donald Trump's a liar. They never took his passports. And it gets uh, 13,000 retweets, 41,000 likes, and probably counting. Well, it turns out, my friends, uh, it's not true at all, actually. Uh, and so I don't know where she got her data. But if you go over to Trump's Twitter team, you got this guy, Taylor Budowich. He says, this is how the fake news works, my friends. Biden administration actively feeds half-truths and lies that the media willingly amplifies, advancing a partisan narrative to attract, attack Trump. Says, hey, take a look at this. Says, uh, Nora, did your source read you this email? Did you bother asking if they indeed seized the passports? So what email is he talking about? We actually posted this like directly on Twitter. Let's take a look at it. Here it is, and this is the gentleman who posted this, here it is. It is, let me get rid of myself. It says, from Brat J, the NSD, from date August 15th, 1049 AM. It says, Evan Jim, subject passports. It says here, uh, Jim, we have learned that the filter agents seized three passports belonging to President Trump. What? It says, two expired, uh, belonging to President Trump, two expired and one being his active diplomatic passport. We are returning them and they will be ready for pickup at WFO at 2 p.m. today. I am traveling, but you can coordinate further with blank copied above. Thanks. Signed on by Jay. And you, uh, okay, so where the heck, what the heck was Nora O'Donnell talking about? They, the FBI just sent a letter or the, the, the DOJ. We got your F, we got your passports here. So I think that that's just a lie. I, 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 I don't really know how else to, to frame it. I mean, I think she's just uh, dishonest about what actually took place there. And she did it intentionally, right? Because that's what these people do. They publish stuff. And they know it's going to get retweeted. They know it's going to get published. They know it's going to get picked up. And they're going to smear a bunch of people in the meantime. Speaking of that, our good friend Viva is somebody who also got smeared by this guy named Will Carless, who is quite careless. And he actually wrote an article that looked something like this. And this is what he posted on Twitter. And I don't think it's actually going to let us take a look at the article, which is fine. Uh, I'm not going to you know, give him additional money. Here, let me show you this. It says, Will Carless posted this. It says, kill FBI on site, right? That's the title of the article. It says, True Social reveals the final days of the Cincinnati shooters ordeal, right? And so he wrote this article on August 3rd, 7, 18 p.m. And if you click through to the article, let's see if this works for us. Probably will not. Uh, let's see. Yeah. The original article that was written here, they put a paywall up on it, and I was going to subscribe and 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 buy it so I could go read it, but I'm not going to do that, right? They don't need any more money from us. Uh, I, I, I read it over the weekend. I was texting with Viva and I was 
she sent me a link to it and I read it and I said, these sons of bees. I looked at it and in the article itself, it, it said something like this individual, the guy who went and did the attack, right? The kill on site guy, the Ricky Schiffer account on the former president's social media was active for nine days, but by the end of it, Ricky Schiffer was dead. And so what the article references is alleged is, is a, is a post on true social by the Ricky fella, who was the, the person who went into the Cincinnati building. And it, one of his true social posts, apparently it has now been deleted from true social. I went and checked the original post. They deleted his whole account and all of the posts. But in one of the posts, he says Viva's name in it. He says something like Viva said that there's gonna be people marching down to the FBI building, all right? And what this journalist did is he used Viva's name. He said, Viva Fry on YouTube was referenced by this shooter named Ricky. And uh, published that article, didn't reach out to Viva for clarification, didn't say Viva on his channel was somebody who has always spoken out against violence, who has been uh, you know, unequivocal on that throughout his entire career. One of the most you know, sort of peaceful people out there. And they're sort of making this guilt by association, this implication that because this maniac mentioned Viva's name, that Viva is somehow, you know, a part of this group of insurrectionists, right? It was really offensive. And he sent it to me and I read it. And I almost jumped out, you know, I was, I, I was outraged. And so what Viva did is he actually sent an email over to him. He said, you know, we were conversating about this and I, I went on truth. I said, yeah, it's a true real post. And they deleted it and uh, ridiculous. So Viva goes and he posts this. He says, look, uh, Will says, I sent you an email earlier today, Will, careless. Your most recent article in US Today doesn't mention me because you got the hint, but your original one did. And it has been republished by no less than five other news outlets. I presume you value the truth and expect to see a correction or a clarification shortly for smearing me. And what they do, right, what they do in these articles is they write one article and then they just wait for the articles to get picked up by other articles. So you may have seen this, right? Like an article will come out from the New York Times and then you find it on MSNBC, don't you? You find it on Yahoo News, don't you? Right, they sort of jip the original article and it drops up on a bunch of other websites. And they do this purposefully. Sometimes they'll write an article with a fake headline, like a Business Insider does this all the time. Business Insider writes headlines that are very juicy and sometimes they're not actually true. And then they'll sort of pick up on those articles in other stories. And they'll say, do you see what Business Insider said? And so one article or one agency will sort of anchor in the fake news and all of the other entities will then copy and paste the journalism. I call it copy and paste journalism. Not a lot of original thinking, just a bunch of people uh, reading through. Well, they, they read through what we read through and they just like one person will write an article and it'll show up on 35 different websites. Right. Or, or they'll just copy and paste the different pieces and reassemble it. So same thing happened here. Right. This loser writes a, an article uh, and sort of is, is referencing Viva, saying that he's guilty by association. That article gets picked up all over the place. The Barat Express News, World Wire and so on. And then he blocked Viva. Will. Right. That's why I can't see this tweet, because he's blocked Viva and he hasn't blocked me yet. But maybe after this video, he will. But Viva has never done anything like that. He's never made those points at all. And so actually Viva, somebody or Viva, I think actually put these clips together. I think, I think these were Viva's clips that he posted on his Twitter account, right? This is what he said. He says, got a response from Will Careless. In his view, his reporting was accurate. <laughs> okay, maybe the post was accurate, but your implication that Viva is guilty by association because that maniac mentioned his name was totally inappropriate. And you knew what you were doing. So Viva says, got a response from Will. In his view, his reporting was accurate. When he reported that the alleged attacker said, Viva Frey said patriots are heading to Palm Beach. And what I actually said is this video. So Viva, yeah, Viva Frey said, said patriots are heading to Palm Beach. What I actually said is this video. He's, go, he's good to publish. No need to contact me for comment. Just publish this video. This is what Viva said. Yeah, apparently people were heading down to Mar-a-Lago to um, show their support. Uh, I don't know if it was protest. I'm an idiot. Uh, I swipe myself out of the stream. Yeah, apparently people are going down 
uh, I, I would I would just be very careful. Yeah. You, you go down in that vicinity. Call me a coward. Call me or whatever would be the name. I won't you go do down in that vicinity no. and you see what what you're what brave they're doing to anybody who is within the vicinity of the Capitol Hill on January 6th. Past is prologue, people. <sighs> I don't think you're a coward, Viva. I think you're a very brave man and, an, and a nice fellow, too. And I don't think you're a violent person at all. And right, this is this is sort of Viva for civil war. Nor will there be any sinister predictions of civil war on this channel. Now, some media outlets are running with this narrative that conservatives are pushing for war. Uh, CNN running with the headline. No, it was Fox News running with the headline that FBI agents are fearing for their security. I will never promote violence on my channel. And some people don't like that. Never, never, I saw one never, never. Right. We don't condone any violence here at all. But a lot of people really, really want that to be the case. They really want to see, you know, some sort of violence and they want to smear good people like Viva, who's reporting on the facts and who's reporting on the truth. And they're trying to make, you know, LawTube or, or people who are, you know, getting more clicks and more views than they are guilty by association. And so that is what the disgusting media is doing in relation to the Trump Mar-a-Lago saga. And so shout out to Viva. He's our friend right next door on locals. He's at vivabarnslaw.locals.com. He's right next door on YouTube too. So uh, make sure you go follow him and give him some love because all of your independent creators need it in a time like this when everybody is sort of uh, trying to create a narrative and smash other people who don't comport with their fiction. So shout out to Viva and uh, the rest of the Trump team smacking down these smears. We'll continue to follow.